Rob Warriors, Jimmy Versalino here, USMC vet and your very own highly motivated, trusted advisor specializing in VA loans with Goldwater Bank Mortgage Division. So uh, really quick, before we get started, as I always do about this time, do me a favor, click like on this video, subscribe to this channel if I've earned it, and lastly, comment with your questions down below. I wanna make sure that you guys are well equipped and informed on how to use your VA home loan benefit. Um, so you're getting ready to go out and put some rounds down range. What does rounds down range mean? Come on, you guys know that, right? You're gonna go out and make some stuff happen with your VA loan, get pre-qualified to purchase that home. I wanna share with you a little bit about what mortgage lenders look for when lending to veterans, so that way you can check all of the boxes and go through the underwriting process without a breeze, okay? without a breeze. I don't know if that sounds right, but anyways, you guys get my point, all right? So here's what I'm trying to say. When you're going out and getting a VA loan, typically speaking, now there's, sir, there's some exceptions to this rule, all right? The mortgage lender is going to want to look for a debt to income ratio uh, at or below a 41%. Now you can go higher than that, but I'm just simply saying that a debt to income ratio lower than 41% increases the likelihood that you will be approved for your loan. Jimmy, what's a debt to income ratio? It's simple, percentage of debt in relation to your income. So the mortgage lender is going to take all of your existing monthly liabilities that are reporting on your credit report, credit cards, auto loan, the new mortgage payment, and then they're going to divide that into your monthly income. And whatever that percentage of debt is, we'd like it to be below 41. Now, again, you can go higher, all I'm saying is, is that it will increase the likelihood that your VA loan is approved if you don't, okay? Now, a couple of other things to keep in mind here and what lenders look for. They wanna see that you've made your payments on time, generally speaking, on your existing liabilities for at least one year. You've got a one year clean payment history on all of your accounts, okay? In addition to that, they like to see job stability, okay? Do you have two years in a specific industry. It doesn't mean you have to be on the job for two years. It just means, do you have two years in the same industry? And if you do, your income is considered to be reliable at that point. And the mortgage lender will look at it and say, okay, I don't expect this income to change. Boom, you're approved. Good to go. That's what we want for you. A couple of other things to keep in mind here is that the DD-214 is incredibly important. Why? Because the mortgage lender is going to be looking on box 24 of your DD-214, the discharge paperwork, to ensure that you've been honorably discharged. So now you can get a copy of your certificate of eligibility. Lastly, with respect to assets, Okay. It's important to remember that the mortgage lender is going to be looking through your actual bank statements, right? We don't want to have any what's referred to as NSFs, non-sufficient funds. Those are bad, right? It means that we aren't managing our finances properly. So make sure that if you have any NSFs, you're going to want to spend some time healing that account, right? Meaning season it for at least 60 days so they don't show up there anymore. That's the first thing. The second thing is that if there's any large deposits, any large cash deposits, those will have to be sourced on your bank account. So you're going to have to explain where that cash came from. And guess what? On VA loans, cash deposits are not a suitable source of funds. So if you do have cash deposits, show a 60 days worth of bank statements. Once it's seasoned, they're no longer there. All right, now you're not going to have any issues. So that's just some things that mortgage lenders will look for. Once again, the fact that you've been on the job for two years, your debt to income ratio is nice and low, right? You don't have any NSFs on your bank statements or large deposits. And so if you have any questions about what mortgage lenders may be looking for, I am here to be a resource for you moving forward into the future. My name is Jimmy Versalino. You can always roger up with me on my website, valoansforvets.com, or call me direct at 602-908-5849. Hey, thank you, and may God bless you for your service to our great country. Semper Fi.